to Emily and Chris's wedding. Blessed is the bride, they say, that the sun shines on. Well, if that's true, we have a very blessed bride and groom here this afternoon. I just remind us as we set out on this journey to watch as Emily and Chris exchange the vows of marriage in the church before God and before all of us, but Emily does so on her 25th birthday. And she does so on her parents' wedding anniversary. So what a triple blessing it is to gather for these three wonderful occasions. Our focus, of course, is on their wedding, on the sacrament of marriage, on God's presence in their lives. And so gathered in this house of prayer, let us pray. Father, hear our prayers for Christopher and Emily, who today are united in marriage before your altar. Give them your blessing and strengthen their love for each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated now as together we listen to God's word. On the wedding night, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, Sister, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. Sarah got up, and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. They began with these words. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve, to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, amen, amen, the word of the Lord. Amen. 